right, so this video is going to tell you about how to go and do your video analysis for your egg drop extravaganza. So the first thing you're going to want to do is click on your egg drop. And this is all going to have to be done on the computer, on a laptop or desktop, so on a computer. You're going to click over on your egg drop, and then you're going to select your hour. And then you'll see a series of videos, and you want to figure out which video was your egg drops video. You're going to click on that particular video once you figure that out. And then you're going to go over to More, Download. And please feel free to, to pause at any point in this movie as you're trying to make sure you can figure out what you need to do for your particular scenario, for your particular um, analysis. Once you're done, you're going to download it. And this is where it gets a little weird. I want you to download it on your H drive. You might be able to download it directly just by saying file, like if you want to save it on your H drive and then name it on there. Or you might have to go over down here when it downloads the bottom of your, your browser. You might need to click and drag this file into your, um, your H drive, which is under your My Computer. So if you need to do that, that's fine also. Once it's downloaded, you're going to open up Logger Pro. You're going to go over to Insert Movie. So it has to be Insert Movie. And once you're in Insert Movie, you're going to go over onto your H drive and you're going to find the movie that you downloaded. And when you do that, you should see your video in there. And um, the first thing we're going to want to do is click over here on these three little dots, three red dots with the arrow. Actually, before we even do that, let's go and click on the play button. <laughs> oh, bring it up a little bit. All right. You can move out of the way. Go. It's good work. Don't die. Oh, come on. Okay, and you want to stop it at just about the point where it's been released. So you'll see I'm a, a little bit delayed, so I'm going to bring it back up to just the time when she releases it, which is about right there. She's no longer touching it, and that's where I'm going to begin my analysis. Now, a few things we need to do to prepare for that. Now we go over to those three red dots. Click on it. And there's a little ruler over here. This is a set scale. Click on set scale. And then you'll see that there's actually a meter stick up here in the balcony. This is your known length. So you're going to click and drag over the length of that meter stick and call that a meter. So now the, now the computer knows that that's going to be considered a meter. Then you go over here to this dot, this add point dot. And here you're going to want to go and find a consistent point in your file that you're going to, and on your, on your particular um, device that you're going to click, and you're going to click on it frame by frame as it's falling. The program automatically advances to the next slide, but you're going to want to select about the same place on your file. And you want to be pretty careful about where you select it. And as you're dropping it, you're also going to want to go and select only points just after it's released at the top and to just before it hits the ground. So you don't want anything, you don't want it hitting the ground during that time period. And you'll see that your device might be moving a little bit side to side. That's going to be okay, even though we're going to not Focus as much on the side-to-side -side motion. Keep on clicking, keep on clicking, keep on clicking, keep on clicking. And it's almost on the ground. Maybe one or two more dots. And now it's going to hit the ground. So then we're going to stop at that point. So see that we made these dots. Now you want to go up here, over here, to the arrow. Click on the select point. Um, th in this way that when you when you touch it, you won't add extra extra points you don't really want. And this is a really good place to go file, save as also, so save this, and save it on your H drive. 
save as egg drop analysis or whatever you need to on your H drive. Um, and you might want to email it to the rest of your group too so that they have access to it. Now is where your analysis begins. You want to click over here on, on the graph, the white graph on the back side. So take your cursor and just click on the graph on, on that side. What you'll see is um, different graphs that are popping up on here. And you'll see that you have on your, on your y-axis, there's an x and a y. The x stands for your horizontal position. The y stands for your vertical position. And on the x-axis, you have time. What I first want to do is I want to click on this y-axis. And instead of having both of those, we only want to click on the y, the y position, just the vertical position. How is it falling? And when it's on here now, you're going to want to do some, some, um, some like analysis of what does this tell you about your object's motion? What's happening to your object and how is it falling and describe how, how it looks. Then you're going to want to go back over here again. You're going to want to take a picture of this, discuss it, etc. Then you're going to go back over to your y-axis and then we're only going to pick and click on and select just the y velocity, the vertical velocity. That's all we're interested in. Horizontally, it's not really moving back and forth. We only care about the vertical velocity. And you'll see it looks a little weird, kind of all over the place. What I'd recommend you do then is actually go up here on your graph and click, and click on your, the top number and make that, let's see if I can do that. It doesn't look like it's letting me change the scale. Um, make that a zero. It looks like it did that there. Perfect. So this is going to be your zero. In other words, this is going to be your axis. So if you click on, your, on that number and you click on whatever number you want, I'd recommend that you select that and then just type zero. It doesn't look like it's popping up, but it should, it should for you. You click zero and then you can see this reference point, this x-axis. Now what you're going to want to do is select a time where it looks like your object is accelerating. In other words, it's speeding up in that negative direction. And it's pretty linear. So for me, I would say this about this region, it's pretty linear. You can see it's moving in that downward direction. And what I want to do is I want to find the slope during that region. That slope is going to tell me my acceleration. Now think about it. What kind of acceleration would we experience due to gravity if it's just falling straight down? And that's what we want to compare our number to. So if we have the slope, we want to use the linear fit button. Yours is going to say R equals. You're going to click on it, and it's going to tell you your slope. And we want to comp compare this slope value, this acceleration value, to the acceleration due to gravity. Um, and explain, um, as part of your analysis, why is that number different than the acceleration due to gravity? What did you do in your setup to make that happen? So now you're going to want to take a picture of this and discuss this and discuss that slope. And when you're done, once again, save it. And voila, that should be your, um, at least the, the Logger Pro piece of your video analysis. But one last thing I do want to also talk about, and there are other parts of the actual, um, actual analysis that involves a, a little bit more numeric side involving the numbers when, when the, the object hits the ground. You're going to want to click on this. This is called the examine button. It's a little, little line that goes up and down along a curve. And um, yours is going to be similar to this examine button. And what you'll see is as you move back and forth along the dots, in the upper left-hand corner, it tells you the time and the vertical velocity. So what I can see is that at this point, at the end of my drop, my vertical velocity, according to this graph, is about negative 3. Negative 3, I think the, when it was over here, it was negative 3.4. Negative 3.4 meters per second would be my final velocity. And you could do the same thing with your initial velocity or other points along that. By dragging your cursor back and forth, you could actually get then different velocity values. So use that to help you out um, in order to figure out information about your velocity throughout that experience. Otherwise, that's it. Let me know if you have questions. Thanks for watching.